Hello all, welcome back. So in previous video, we already seen how to create a Terraform Cloud free account. So in this video, we will see how to create a resources in Google Cloud using a Terraform Cloud. So we are not going to use any additional CI CD tool like Jenkins or GitLab. We are going to use Terraform Cloud to create our infrastructure. So we will see how we can automate Terraform init plan, apply these kind of commands in Terraform Cloud, how we can just push our Terraform code and at the back end your infrastructure will be created okay so let's see how we can do that so before that we have to first create Terraform cloud account that we already created now we'll create one Terraform workspace workspace is used to manage your state file in Terraform cloud and we'll connect our workspace to git repository okay so let's go to a Terraform cloud account now so we are in my terraform cloud account now this is the organization we created in the last video so if you haven't seen last video you can go and check how we created a terraform free account in cloud and how we created our first organization now let me go to a terraform tech structure organization within this organization we have different option to create a workspace so here at new create workspace select a default project click on create so here we have multiple options version control workflows cli driven workflow or api driven workflow we'll go with the version control because we have to automate it with a github okay so here we have different option github GitLab, bitbucket and azure devops so we need a github so before that we need one a github a repository to store our terraform code okay so let me go to the github and here let me create one a repository so i'll just give a name as terraform cloud demo okay fine I'll keep it private. I'll just add one readme file and I'll create my repository. Okay, so we have to check few features in Terraform Cloud. That one feature is whenever we are creating the pull request, it should automatically execute a plan. So before merge our code to the main, our approver can validate the plan. So for that, I'll create one additional branch. So I just create new branch. I'll just give a name as a dev. and let's go here now we have our repository created now let's go back and try to connect to a github so it, we have to authenticate it github so telecom cloud would like permission to access a github so just authorize telecom cloud so sometimes if your github is not logged in in your browser it will ask you to authenticate so I my GitHub is already logged in. I can just simply go to my GitHub and here you can install Terraform in GitHub repository. So option is either you can install in all repository or in selected repository. So where we can see install Terraform, I will show you in our repository as well. So I will install in only a single repository. So I'll choose a repository, Terraform Cloud demo, okay, and I'll install it okay so meanwhile i'll go and i'll show you where it will install terraform so you can go to your profile setting and in application so you will see a terraform cloud so it installed github app so you can see terraform cloud is installed and you can see it installed only for one repository that is terraform cloud so here you can see if terraform is already installed or not in your github let's go ahead now so we connected our repository just click on this you can give the workspace name so i will just add ws before my name repository name okay so that is workspace and now description you can give important part is in advanced option so do not directly click on create if you want to automate it just click on advanced option work workspace setting terraform working directory i will keep it blank so it will execute terraform commands in a root directory and now I have options here auto apply. Okay, so I just auto apply API CLI and VCS run. So it will execute apply as well. Okay, I purposefully marking this checkbox. So I'm doing it enabled and always trigger runs. And one important setting automatic speculative plans trigger speculative plans for pull request to this repository. So whenever someone raises pull request to merge in your default branch so here 
we kept it default for us default to the main branch so anyone is creating pull request to merge code into the main branch it will execute a plan and we can check the plans if plan is fine then we'll only execute or then only we'll merge our code and once our code is merged it will execute telephone plan and apply again so let's go and create now so now we created our workspace and our workspace we can see okay so continue to workspace overview so we can see our workspace so currently don't there are no runs you can see only configure workflow and start a new plan so for now we'll do two things now we have to generate uh, some terraform configuration file or create terraform configuration file and second thing we need something so can terraform cloud can authenticate with google cloud to create a new resources so we'll be creating sample storage bucket and for creating storage bucket we need access for that we'll create a service account so first we'll go and create a terraform code okay so i'll go to a dev branch i am not using vs code i will directly add file here create new file and i'll create two files here first is main.tf where i will put my sample storage bucket code so i'll just copy this simple code i'll paste it i'll just add few points here so project is missing here i'll just add project so my project dt dev name i will change so i will give the name terraform cloud tfc demo bkt hyphen b01 i'm giving something like that and here i'll just give the module name gcs bucket okay so yeah everything is fine this is a simple storage bucket code for gcs i'll just commit the changes and i'll create a backend file so now we have to store a state file in a workspace so let me add a backend.tf Okay. and for this we need a set of code block i have this here backend code block just paste here and our workspace name we have to give workspace is terraform cloud demo i'll just add it here okay so you can see backend is remote organization is tech capture which is my terraform organization and then a workspace name okay that's it let's commit it okay now you can see you know, this branch is to commit side of main so we have to create a pull request to merge it in a main so that we can create our storage bucket but it will fail because there is no service account or there is no authentication set between google cloud and terraform cloud so to authenticate terraform cloud with the google cloud we need some authentication so as a best practice we can use the service account but here we have to use a key there are other options as well to avoid key but for this demo we'll use a terraform uh, not terraform google cloud service account key so i'll go in iam and i'll create a service account i'll just create new service account i'll just use the name terraform cloud create and continue i'll just give a role only to create a storage bucket I'll just give the name storage admin role so it can create bucket without an issue. So just create done. So we created a service account. Fail to add a project a role. What is the issue? Let's do again. Okay, now it's done okay now let me go to the terraform cloud service account and generate keys okay so i'll go here okay, add key create new key json create so it will create one key file for us okay so key file is generated i'll just show in folder and i'll just open this file in notepad plus plus now simply copy this file content okay and create a new secret variable so how to create a secret variable so you can go to terraform cloud configuration variable add variable here you have to mention google 
credentials okay and value i'll put and mark this as a sensitive so no one can read this once these are added now i added and see no one can see this if i go here i can only edit i cannot view this so let's do it now we added the google credentials now we are good to create our first pull request okay so let me go to the runs so you can see nothing is here for now no runs let me go to the github and i will go to contribute and open a pull request so let's see what happens when we raise a pull request so this is from dev to main point let's create a pull request okay we created a pull request and let's go here and see if any new runs gets triggered and now you can see here all checks are passed so it executed the terraform plan as soon as we raised pull request so let's go to details and here we'll see a terraform plan see uh, successful create one so plan is saying one resource will be created let's go back to workspace this is our workspace and we'll have one run here okay so here you can see plan finished one to create so it is only plan based on our request pull request now once we merged our pull request to main branch it will trigger plan and apply okay so if it is not triggering you can once one time you can trigger from ui from here you go and just execute plan only so it will create your workspace so if it is not triggering for first time you can just trigger it via ui okay so that is the first time activity if it is not triggering so now i can go back i think it is here from the github let me go back to github okay and let me just merge pull request so once i merged pull request it will execute terraform plan and apply so now merge request is successful let me go to runs now you can see merge pull request it is executing so first it will execute terraform plan and once it is success you can ignore this warning so plan is finished okay and it is showing one storage buckets to be created and now apply is running let's see and apply is also successful one storage bucket got created okay let's repeat it again so now what i will do i will add one more bucket okay let's go to run okay now this was the current run we just applied now i'll go here and just add one more bucket i'll just go to dev branch i'll go to main.tf i'll just edit this file and i will add one more bucket I'll just give here two and this name also I'll change to two. Okay, I updated my code. Let's commit changes and now I'll raise pull request to merge it to the main branch. Okay, so let's go to the code. Here you have option to raise pull request, create pull request okay and now let's wait here i'll show you here as well okay now this branch has no conflict it shows multiple requests now it will go and it will execute a terraform plan as well so you can see planning update main.tf few seconds ago it's currently running once it is successful it will show in a uh, here as well now you can see some checks haven't completed now if this plan is successful it will show here that okay your plan is successful and all checks are passed now you can merge it now if i go and merge pull request confirm merge it will execute a terraform plan now it's not yet started it will execute terraform plan and apply so once the request is completely merged it is merged completely let's see and now you can see apply queue so let's check 
plan finished it will create one new bucket and meanwhile we can go and check our storage buckets you can see bucket 002 also created bucket 001 we created earlier you can see it's finished so this way we can create our Terraform infrastructure using Terraform Cloud and Google Cloud without using any CI CD tool and we are following the best practices that will first get the code in the feature branch and then we we'll merge it to the we'll create a pull request then approver can view if a plan or pull request has passed plan if then then only they can raise or they can approve a PR and merge it to the main branch so that's how it will work and i'll show you one more thing now as apply finished okay so here you can see in our terraform configuration we just mentioned a state file i mean uh, the workspace name for storing our state file now if we see where we can see the state file so either you can click here or you can go to the states in your workspace and you can see it will update the state so you can have the versions of the state as well so if i go to here the latest state file you can see the state file here okay so you can see what all resources so it is having bucket 001 it is having bucket 002 so all resources in this uh, I mean state file it will show okay so you can download the state file as well if you want to check the previous version of the state file I'll show that as well. So here there was only one bucket. So it is showing only one bucket. So it is very easy to manage state file in a Terraform state. There is very low chances to get any kind of state file issues when you are using a Terraform cloud. Okay. So this is your state file. So that's it for this video. We seeing how we can create a CSD pipeline to create our Google Cloud resources using a Terraform Cloud, how to create a workspace, how to connect GitHub repository and how to make changes to our infrastructure using Terraform Cloud. So in next video we will see how to create a registry, private registry and publish it as a Terraform module. So now we are using the resource block but there are a lot of limitation directly using the resource block so we'll see how we can create a registry and publish our private registry here and then we can use that registry in our organization to create a secure infrastructure for our cloud provider so that's it for this video and we'll see you in our next video